So we're out here at the BLM station at Red Rock today. Uh, the recruits are with our wildland counterparts. Uh, they're in groups getting taught and trained wildland uh, firefighting. Us cadre aren't really much help. We're letting the wildland guys teach that. So we're just here in the van enjoying some snacks uh, brought to us by the recruits. What else you got in there, Tommy? Uh, this is what they get for voting me number six. Your... Got some uh, cold hot dogs if anybody wants cold hot dogs. Oh, here's a sandwich. There we go. Push it to the limit, I can't go no more. Red light, no way I'm coming back home. Long dirt road all on my own. I'm gonna be the greatest, run my name in the stone. Run my name in the stone. Are you ready to go there? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm coming back home. Run my name in the stone. Cause I'm coming back. North Las Vegas has one of the hardest academies. This is nothing. You are North Las Vegas recruits. You lift your chin high. If you don't give it your all while you're on the training ground or while you're out there fighting a fire, somebody could die. Do you understand? Yes, yes sir. sir. We are four weeks from wrapping up this academy. You guys only have one major test left in this academy. You've completed all of your benchmarks. You've meeting all the minimum requirements. But at no point during this academy are you ever safe? Do you understand? Yes, yes, sir. The level of intensity that you guys came in with on day one, in the beginning of this academy, you guys should be maintaining throughout the entire course of this academy. This is that complacency that I talk about from the beginning and through the course of your career. Just because you think you've met the minimum benchmarks and the minimum standards does not mean that you are done. And that carries on with you through the rest of your the rest of your career with this department. And not only do you not learn anymore, someone could get injured, someone could get hurt, you could get hurt. You guys haven't racked up a lot of time in your leave banks, and if you get injured off duty doing something stupid, or you get injured on duty because of your complacency, you are still at risk for your job. This city does not need to keep you on. You get hurt off duty, they don't have to take you on light duty. They have the right to let you go once your time runs out. So I want you to keep that level of intensity, that level of safety, and that level of integrity where it was on day one when you got here. You understand? Yes, yes sir. Uh, this is what they get for voting me number six. Let me get got some uh, cold hot dogs if anybody wants cold hot dogs. <laughs> oh, here's a sandwich. There we go. So we're eating their lunch right now, but uh, we actually did buy them some lunch to replace it, so they'll be all good and set. Yeah, so we're out here today um, out at the BLM fire station um, learning some wildland stuff. Um, I've actually had the opportunity to partake in some wildland um, experiences before. Uh, this was actually my old station, so it's good to come back out here, uh, learn some new stuff, uh, see some of the guys I used to work with. but. Uh, Really important training here with uh, North Las Vegas being an all-hazard department. We want to make sure that we can respond to all types of hazards, uh, as it is in the name. So uh, right now we're learning how to cut a line. So pretty much we're fighting fire with dirt and uh, learning different strategies to uh, knock that fire down in a wildland uh, scenario. Um, some of the other scenarios or uh, training we'll be doing is going over weather, um, going over some of the brush engines that we have, um, firing operations, and uh, so, some uh, specific wildland stuff um, as well. So uh, it's a good time being out here in nature. So. In each of our wildland packs, we all have MREs. Uh, they come in this giant bag. Some of us have never had them before. I've never had one before, so we're trying them out. Every, everyone's got something different. We're just kind of passing food around, trying it. And then some of us have are heating stuff up right now to try it all. So it's definitely interesting, but it's cool to, cool to try. Yeah, I'll fuse it. Roger is like, I don't want to breathe that in. Bro, that's what happened. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no bueno. Yeah. I'm out. That's it.
this is a team building exercise. So we're in Craft Mountain parking lot. That's Craft Mountain. Over there, we call it Little Turtle Head. The mountain behind it is Turtle Head if you guys hiked it before in Red Rock Canyon. So our plan is to make it to the top of that peak. So uh, it's a pretty good hike. I've done it multiple times. Um, when I said team building, there's 16 of you guys, right? So we've got some equipment that needs to get up. If our fire was up there, we'd need everything we have with us, plus the water and the chainsaws. I'm gonna give you guys some advice. Put all the heavy stuff in the front of the line, right? We're gonna hike in a line. That's all I'll give you. Beyond that, it's up to you guys to get up there all, all as one. I'll set the pace for you guys. I haven't hiked in a while. So I'm just gonna go one pace. The goal is to not stop the entire hike. Um, this might be really hard. We're gonna evaluate when we get to the saddle and then go from there. But it looks like most everybody here looks pretty fit. Um, any questions on it? Work as a team. When one person gets tired, pass the saw off. Pass that QB. I've hiked those for a really long time. They're very heavy. So uh, this is an exercise to see how you guys do as a team because like we talked about in the beginning, firefighting is all about working in a team. Any questions? Concerns? All right, we'll, uh, we'll line out. The front of the trail is right behind us. It's right over here, Mick. Yeah. Your job, make sure we have everything up there. Everybody gets up there one, right? Yes, sir. Any type of injury, anything like that, immediately call me. These guys will be intermixed in here. <laughs> ready to go. Group A is ready to go. Ready to go. All right. Hey, we're moving. Got his water bottle, so hydration is important. You good? Better? Yes, sir. Okay. Want to make sure you stay hydrated today. All right. Curtly up front. Um, Rosales up front. Go forth up front. Garcia up front. So you guys asked for a team workout. So you guys are gonna get a team workout today. Curly, pick someone. Hernandez. Rosales, pick someone. Hernandez. Go forth, pick someone. Larvin. Garcia, pick someone. Hudson. Uh, Vargas, fall in, so that way they know that they can pick you still. Go forth, pick someone. Tyler. Curly. <laughs> yeah, it's weird being the last one. Go forth was a captain this time, so that's the reason why he's not last. <laughs> All right, so. Today's workout, you guys asked for a team workout, so that's what we're gonna do, all right? The workout, it's gonna start off with a one mile run as a team, all right? You cannot start the other movements until your entire team is back, all right? One person's gonna go through every single station and then tag their partner and then their partner will be able to go, all right? So, station number one, when you get back from your run, is gonna be a farmer carry. You are gonna pick up the two kettlebells and you're gonna go out and around the bank and back. So approximately 400 meter farmer carry, all right? After you do your farmer carry, huh? They should do a true farmer carry. They are not carrying me, I do not trust them. <laughs> After your farmer carry, forearms are gonna be nice and pumped up. They're gonna do five inch. You're gonna do five inch. Down, pull it in, pull it back, and pull it back in, all right? So down and back. After you complete that, you're gonna do sled push. The sled push, you're gonna start where they're at right now. You're gonna go all the way down to the gate and back. When you get back to the starting point, come over here, tag your partner, then your partner can take off. Once everybody goes through the evolution, you guys are gonna go do another one mile run together. So my suggestion is pick wisely who goes last, okay? After that, and you guys get back from the one mile run, there is a 200 burpee buyout, okay? You guys cannot do the burpees at the same time. Only one person can work at a time. So if you wanna do those in sets of 10, sets of 50, I don't care, that's gonna be up to you guys as a team, all right? 
Whoever you guys wants to do all 200 for this team, that's fine. That's fine. I'm I'm okay with it. <laughs> it's 200 as a team, sir. 200 as a team, yes. Currently, you pick the position. Here's the team leader. Okay. You go second, he'll go third. Hey, I'm on top. Really, I'm on top. Uh, yeah. Whole crew on top. Really, we on top. Wake up every morning with drive. Been on the grind, know I had to survive. We had to win. Started from the dirt and the rubble. I had to be the needle that was popping your bubble. Letting the air out. Walking with a clear route. How we gon' rise today? I'm making mine today. Go make yours. Double back and flip the proceeds. Last year on the corner sipping OE. Had to get off the block. Best friend smoking rock. Best man called the cops. He rose from the city that never sleeps. It's the melting pot. I came through with purpose. I never question if it's worth it. Homie, I'm on top. Really, we on top. I'm on top. See me, I'm on top. We on top. Whole crew on top. I can't stop. I'm on top. See me, I'm on top. I'm on top. I'm on top. Whole crew on top. Really, I'm on top. I never stop. From the belly of the beast, from the streets, had to make it out. Only knew a vacant house. Good. Yes, sir. All right, listen up, fellas. We're getting to the end of this academy. Uh, you guys have really busted your ass to this academy. So, from the beginning of the academy to where you're at now, I think you can probably all say that your PT's better, your motivation's higher, right? That drive is there now, right? Yes, sir. And like I talked about, like from the beginning of the academy, we don't just have you guys come out here to bust your ass to break you like that's not the point of this like whatsoever like everything that we've done during this academy has some level of purpose <laughs> that you're going to carry on with you through like the rest of your careers and you'll find out like when you pop your first fire and you guys are in there and you're all amped up and adrenaline's running that this cardio and the, and the, the workouts and the movements and stuff that you guys do like that's going to go a long way for you guys when you guys actually hit that floor and so we've tried to bring you guys up to that level and it's something you guys should all be really proud of because you guys are all finishing these workouts you guys are all busting your butt through them you guys are motivating each other you know, every step of the way, and that's what it's about. You guys have all come together as one academy from where you were at from the beginning to where you're at now. You guys are one solid core group that you guys will be close friends for the rest of your career, and you guys will have this memory to go back on and know how hard you worked, right? Because even Rodriguez, like you said, like even when you were in the Army, like all you had to do is go through the motions to get through, right? And this is not a military organization. It's paramilitary but it's something to be proud of that you accomplished. All right, so good job out there today. You guys really busted your butt. You guys motivated each other, and I'm super stoked to see that. So carry that on with you guys, all right? Yes, sir. All right, good job. How's it going, uh, North Las Vegas Fire Department? We're out here with Southwest Gas today. We brought Academy Class 22-2 out here. Uh, we came out here so that way the recruits can figure out um, the relationship that we have the, with the utility companies as well as learn what exactly their role is on emergency scenes. So we're out here now at their training grounds. We uh, spent the first half of the day in the classroom kind of getting to know the properties of natural gas as well as propane and other things that they might see out in the utility world. But now we're out here on the training grounds and we're actually getting some hands-on training. The recruits are uh, communicating with the utility service company on what's going on, what they've done prior to their arrival, as well as uh, how they can help each other out to minimize the uh, scenario. So. you save and uh, everything you do to help us make sure our guys go home safe every day and likewise we want to make sure you go home as well so thank you for your cooperation and your work and yes sir sir i got a question what's the tricks to getting our gas bill down sir <laughs>